Hey guys, how you doing? This your girl One Love Diva coming back at you with another mukbang. Today we're having some Jimmy John's. I got a number nine. The big Italian is what I got. And uh, me and my food and I got And I got me some chips. So let's get ready to pray and eat. And I have changed locations. Uh yeah, for this video today. It is what it is. Ain't one person gonna, ain't nobody gonna stop my flow. That's what that, what that my pastor should say. One monkey don't stop no show. Keep pushing. Just keep pushing. So y'all bear with me while I get to know my surroundings a little bit. Because it's real big and empty in here. Anyhow, this is the San Loach. As you can see, I had one of these yesterday. That they had, they had ordered it for, um, for one group and they didn't eat all of them and it had no meat on it. It was a veggie. When I tell you, it was probably about, about that big. About that big. I'm finna get ready to cut it. it. It was about that big and it had no meat and it was so good. Made me want some meat today. You hear me? So let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, bless this food I'm about to receive. Let it go for the nourishing of your temple. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope you guys can see me, can see the food. So, I'm going to cut my sandwich because I'm not going to eat all of it. And I don't want it to uh, sit out because where I'm at today, I want to have all my stuff put together so I can walk out of here. As soon as I leave, leave my area clean. So, let's go down. So that's all I'm going to eat, y'all, because I really don't have an appetite. I have to really have one. I done bought some uh, chips because I wanted to crunch, and I didn't have my carrots. And then, it's like, I got a pickle, so I may just eat pickle and sandwich. I don't know if I'm going to open them chips up there. Don't know if I'm going to open up them chips. Hopefully, you guys can see me. Hopefully, you can see the food. I apologize. Um... For the new background, you know, mm, good and juicy. I'm only gonna eat one of these. So I'm like, thank you. Oh, it's real juicy. I'm gonna put that in the napkin. I'm gonna get one of these napkins off here. Got my hands and stuff, juicy, pickly and stuff. I'm gonna move this up too so I can get with it, y'all. I can get with it. I'm gonna waste nothing on my clothes today. Push this hair back. How y'all doing today? Today's been, today's been crazy, guys. Look at my, so, I'm going to start off with this that I want to talk to you guys about. So, first of all, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that notification button, and sharing my videos. I appreciate the love. And to all my new sus subscribers, hi, guys. Mm -hmm. Love you. Anyway, so, I got to work today, and this was sitting on my desk, and I was like, okay. Probably one of my friends just left it up here, whatever. Come to find out, one of my customers mailed this for me from Illinois. Oh, my God. And she was just so taken back how sweet I was. And um, she just said I was nice and I understood and I listened to her. And I just thought that was so sweet. She sent this all the way from Illinois. That's so sweet. And guys, I have a couple of topics to talk about today because I was thinking about this last night. I was watching, y'all don't judge me. Let me get a bite because I know y'all like, she ain't even start eating yet. She just talking, talking, talking. Let me, let me, you know what? Here, you take the first bite. Mm hmm. Get it. Get it. Get it. I got onions on her too, y'all. Mm hmm. Mm, I look good today, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I love me some pickles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look how pretty it is. It tastes good, too. Mm. That's good to my spirit. I needed that. I ate this morning though. I had breakfast this morning. And y'all, I got some water. My little drinky drink is just water. I put a little lemon in it today to switch it up a little bit. 
everybody know what lemon water tastes like in the way you should anyway. But back to my stories or what have you. So I'm up last night and I was watching the Kardashians and I went all the way back to season one because I stopped watching like after the second season. So I don't even know what happened after season two. So I went from season three to four, right? Okay. In that season, Courtney, okay, broke up with Scott. Got a piece of her in my eye. She broke up with Scott. Sent all his stuff back to New York and then moved back. We well, moved to Miami Well Sister to open their other second dash store. So I started season four and it just automatically started with her being pregnant by Scott and Chloe was married to uh, Lamar. And I'm like, wait, and Kim was broke up with Reggie Bush. I'm like, did all this happen and I just didn't know? I mean, I know Courtney got pregnant by Scott, but it just seemed like it was like a big jump. Like, how do you go from Miami to back home and you're pregnant? So I don't know if I'm missing an episode. So comment below if I need the, if something is going on. Because I went from three to four and I just don't know what happened. Like, I don't know how they got pregnant, married, and broken up within a season. So it could be just happened like that. They are the Kardashians. But if you know what happened back from season three to four, Comment below, let a sister know, because I'm lost, because it didn't make sense. Still funny, still good, love the Kardashians, the bum. Anyway, I had to ask y'all that, because I thought I was tripping. I was like, mm-mm. I mean, the last, very last episode of season three is Courtney sending Scott's car to New York while she's getting it shipped, and all his stuff is gone. And I think I know she's pregnant by him, but you know, I must be missing something. Something got to be missing. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. You guys, I made a little list of me of some things to talk about because I'll forget if I don't because I've been wanting to talk about half of this on my list and I keep forgetting to talk about it. And I was like, you know what, Lord? You know my mind ain't no good. You know it ain't no good. So you pray. Ask God to help me with my memory. I definitely appreciate it. But the other thing I was talking, I was looking in this <laughs> Because my job is a little kind of boring a little bit sometimes. So we get a chance to read a lot. So my friend brings me the National Enquirers. And she brought me one from June. It's old. It's real old. But I was reading it. It's cold in a mug in this room. I'm going to slide these on down, y'all. And I got a piece of her in my eye that just will not quit. Y'all bear, bear with me. This wig is getting on my nerves today. Anyway. So, uh. The National Enquirer, back to it. So I was reading, it was like Bill Cosby. They were talking about Bill Cosby. Y'all know everything happened with Bill Cosby. I'm not going to get into that. The reason why I bring him up is because of Camille. I've been waiting for Camille to do something, anything, say something, nothing. You know, whatever. Um, reading in the, in the National Enquirer, she done moved 10,000 miles away from Bill in one of their second homes and took all the staff. And I'm like, Camille, it's been, y'all been together. I think it said they've been together. 54 years. Y'all been together almost over half a century. And you had no clue he was doing this? Drug him? I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to bring it up. But you had no clue what your husband was doing at all? None? That's so weird to me. That is so weird to me. Like, you weren't paying attention at all, ma'am. And then the picture they had of her, I couldn't tell if she was Bill or she was Camille. Because she looked just as manly as he did. And I ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with having your heart cut. But if you hard in the face too, no, no. You look like a big man. That may be why he was doing it, but that ain't no excuse. And don't judge me, because you know what, I ain't judging you. But I was like, what the? What's going on? Camille? Maybe they caught him on a bad day, because she did not look cute at all. I thought she was Bill for a second. I was like, is that Camille or is that Bill? I couldn't tell the difference. Anyway. So, in a magazine for this month in the National Choir, I'm getting all these sources that are coming from the National Enquirer, allegedly. <laughs> it was saying that the Obamas finna start a talk show with Netflix. And they was trying to come for the Obamas in the National Choir. Talking about they, they about their paper, they all they looking for is money. I'm like, before they even before Obama was president, they had money and they was about their money. It doesn't stop after he changed jobs. 
So what is the problem? Yeah, have y'all even heard about this? Them trying to start a little series talk show, trying to get some things in the work with Netflix. If you have, comment below, because that was my first time hearing about it. But, you know, I'm down. I'm watching. Michelle finna have a talk show. Oh, I'ma watch. Oh, I'ma be in it. And I hope y'all will be too to support them. Anyway, but I had to bring that up. Because I thought that was funny. Like, y'all trying to comfort them because they trying to be better. They trying to move forward with their life and not just sit stagnant like the rest of the presidents when they got done. They should have known that Obama and them wasn't finna do that. Ain't nobody finna just sit back and do nothing. It don't work like that. Mm -mm. Something needs to always be popping at all times. Anyway, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That is my opinion. I'm going to be sitting around looking crazy. Doing nothing. Money's still coming in because they get paid, so they don't need the money. It's the fact of doing something. Not everybody just want to sit at home and collect money. Some people want to actually do something with their time. So, anyway, that's just my opinion about the Obamas and this Netflix deal that allegedly is supposed to be happening through the National Enquirer. They were talking about it, but whatever. I just thought that was crazy. I mean, why are you worried about it if they want to do that? Let them do it. It ain't hurting you. It ain't bothering you at all. But it is what it is. Anyway. My video today is not going to be too long due to the fact I'm in a different area. Okay. So, I'm not going to be on here all day. Yesterday, I didn't realize I was on so long. It made two videos. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. And thank y'all for watching my video from yesterday. That steak and salad was good. Kind of wish I had some now. Have you ever had something so good you wish you could have it the next day, but it's all gone? And then I didn't get to do no, do too much of nothing today. So I had to give me some Jimmy John's, delivered up to this job. But it is what it is. I ain't tripping on nothing. I ain't tripping on nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, was raining a little bit this morning. Yeah, no, I can't. I took a picture of the office door when I'm walking in, okay? It's hot outside. Just got through raining or whatever come through the office door, it's all smoked out because it's so cold in here and so hot outside. It's just foggy. Can't even see through the door when you walk it in. I wish I knew how to edit it and add that video that I did together, but I don't know how to do that yet. I may just post them, but I doubt it. If I do, I probably post on my social media so y'all can see how that, that looked this morning. Actually, yeah, it was this morning because it was 11. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Only thing about Jimmy John. They stuff slide out. Like, I want all my stuff in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of it. In my mouth. Not on a plate. Not on a paper came in. In my mouth, please, and thank you. Let's see. Mm-hmm. So good. That combination is real good. My brother has some pickles I wanted to try, guys. I'm gonna try it on on my um on another video. They're called Famous Dave's Devil Spit. So I gotta find them because he said he's been having a hard time finding them down here in the grocery store. But he said they real, real hot. My brother loves hot food and he said he can't eat one of them. So I wanna try them. I gotta find them first though. So if you know where those are, comment below so you can uh, purchase those. So I can try them out. What you guys eating today? Cause this is delicious. I mean, you can make your own Jimmy John's at the house though. You know, it can be done. And um, probably even better if you make it at the house. You can add whatever you want to it, you know? Because they did not put enough onion on here. That's the last bite, y'all. 
the last bite. Mm, 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 mm. And you can see how these open chips up. I eat them later. I really don't want them right now. Sandwich just hit the spot though. I needed that. I needed that. It was delicious. Mmm. There's nothing wrong with a good pickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, you could have beat it together. Well, she was here. Well, Jimmy John's was good. Yeah, we'll get you some Jimmy John's today. Or some Subway or whatever you like. I was going to get Subway. My coworker was like, I want some Jimmy John's. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do the Jimmy John's. Well done. I'm done eating. I'm a little sip of this water though. Mm -hmm. And if you see me keep looking over, behind me is a big window so I can see the cloud. I mean the sky. I mean clouds. It do look a little cloudy out there, but I can see the clouds, so that's what I'm looking at. And when people walk past, I can see it. But thank y'all for having this little quick lunch. Well, I should say late lunch early dinner with a sister because i'm probably gonna eat the rest of this for late late dinner tonight um because i don't have appetite right now but it may hit late on tonight hopefully but it is what it is thank you guys again for watching the sister eat my good old food it was delicious too well, i want some cookies though i want some chocolate mm. Mm. i don't need it you gotta fight yourself you got to fight yourself to do right. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Let me get out of here, y'all. Thank you again for liking, subscribing, um, hitting that notification button, uh, commenting, and sharing. I almost forgot the father. I almost forgot it. Anyway, bye, guys. It's been real.